Don't forget to subscribe to Panda Outdoors. Do it now. Okay, so just another little video. Um, coming to you live and direct from the shed. Sorry about that, it's a bit windy outside. That was the door. So, um, on this video, I'm just going to talk about, on one of the other videos when I was in here, talk about a little toolkit that we put together in the EDC type of thing, preparedness. So, there's just another little like kit pouch that I want to show you that I've put together. Um, this pouch is from Timu. It was out three quid, and it's, it's brilliant, actually. So, it's just a little electrical pouch that I got from Timu, um, and it just fits in my pack, so it just keeps everything charges anything like that that i need it just keeps it all nice and compact um so what i'll do is i'll open it up now and i'll show you what it's like inside so when you open it up as you can see if i just move my hand okay so when you open it up let me just move them for a second and i'll show you so it opens up and it has a little flap in the middle okay so in this little flap i just keep one second it's all going wrong. Okay, so in this flap, I just keep two um, AA pencil batteries and four AAA batteries. AAA batteries go in most of my torches. I just keep the double A's just for anything else I encounter that I may need, I may need double A's for. So just keep some batteries in there. In this part, it is like a little Velcro bit. I just keep an anchor 10,000 milliamp, um, 10,000 milliamp power bank. Okay, that lives in there. Then on top of that, I keep a fold-out plug, USB and USB-C um, plug to go into the main. So if I'm in anywhere where I can use the mains power, I can plug it in with that. If not, we have the power bank. And then I just have a spare USB that goes in the car. So if I'm in somebody else's car and they haven't got one of these, I can bang it in, charge my phone. Or if I'm out with anybody fishing, whatever, and they've got the power, I've got the jacket or anything like that, and we need an extra one of these, an extra USB charger, I can throw it in the jacket 12 volt port, and we get charging. So that's the reason that's there. Then in the back, I just keep my um, charging cables. Okay, so I keep a variety of different charging cables in the back. So what I'll do is I'll go through them now. Let me just get rid of these batteries and put them on the side. So it's doing me head and falling out. Okay, so I'm just going to pull them out. It does zip across to keep them all neat. So I'm just going to go over them in order. So, no particular order. So this is my Olight um, Warrior X um, torch, flashlight, magnetic charger. Then I have, this is a good piece of kit. This is a 3-in-1. So it has a USB-C um micro usb and it has a iphone charger whatever that one's called i don't know um and this is made by ridge monkey so again everyone knows i like my ridge monkey gear um really good the the material woven around the wire is excellent so it makes it nice and steady so you basically only need one charger that does them all um so that's in there and then i just have a spare micro usb and i've got a uh, that's another micro usb as well um in there i'll probably take that one out and keep that one just keep that one in the side of the car i do have a usb c that lives in here as well and we have an iphone one that lives in the car so if i get out the car i just take that with me um so i've got three spare wires of each one in here normally but i was using the USB C. So that is what is in that little pouch, and that lives in my EDC bag. Again, I will do an update on my EDC bag because things have changed in there, um, added stuff, um, and I'll go through it. I'm still using the same EDC bag that I used in the last update video. Haven't changed that. It's really good. Um, I don't really need so much for the babies anymore. We don't need to take bottles with us, and we always have a bag for that anyway but i still can grab some nappies and i keep wet baby wipes in the in the car in the bag anyway but all i have to do is throw some nappies in a spare change of clothes in it and there's room for that if i'm ever out and about but nine times out of ten we're in the car and we always have 
a baby bag with clothes, nappies and everything like that that just lives in the car. Um, and that is like some handbag thing that the missus has got. I have no idea what the make of that is. I'm not into handbags. But there's just another little easy kit that makes life easier. Not really an SHTF kit or anything like that. It's just an EDC. Being a bit more self-sufficient, a bit more prepared on a day-to-day -day basis. Having some way to charge your phone. Because again, phones are one of the best EDC tools you can have. It's got maps on it. It's a sat-nav. Anything you need to know that you don't know, you can put it in on Google. If there's something you've seen that you need to remember, snap a picture, take notes in it. It is the best multi-tool for a prepper. In my opinion, you can have it as a notepad, it has a camera, it has everything. Um, and it's a communication device. So keeping that charge while you're on the go is crucial. So that's why I just have this little pouch that's all set up, ready to go. And as I say, it was £3 off Timu. Okay, and it has, if you see, it's got some like little has charger wires, power bank picture, micro USB cards and stuff like that. But the picture is zips over and it just has a little lanyard well so you could clip this into the back of your bag or you can just carry it like that however you please but just a little way of keeping all my electricals um, nice and tidy and powered up okay i hope this video has been helpful again these are a few shorter little prepper ones i am going to be doing bigger ones i'm going to be bringing out more prepper stuff some prepper projects around the home as well Water catchment systems, um, solar systems, um, prepper pantry and building a prepper pantry. I'll bring you along for that. Yeah, that's going to be quite a big one, even though it's a small room. At the moment, it's just a shed on the side of the house. And I'm going to change the door on it to a proper door instead of like a shed door. Um, it's going to have power in. I'm going to insulate it with a um, insulation, insulated board. Uh, plasterboards and stuff like that put lights in there and then i'm going to put a solar system on the roof so the, that'll be in the prepper pantry will be the means to charge things if the power ever goes down and maybe put some 12 volt lights in the house running from the solar system if i can do it without causing too much of a fuss i'm going to look at doing that as well so stay tuned if you're liking the prepper stuff because i've got a lot of prepper stuff coming along um as I say, it's funding. As a prepper, don't go out and blow every, all your money on preps. It doesn't work. And one, you've still got to live day to day. So what I do is £3. And then once I've worn that out and it fell apart, I'll then buy something better. I'll upgrade it, buy a better bit of kit. Or when I've got the money to buy a better bit of kit, I'll just make that redundant, put it in my stores, and then find a use for it somewhere else. You don't have to go out and spend all your money on all the best kit straight away. Just buy stuff that works. Once you get stuff that works, then upgrade items as you go to better quality stuff. So, as I say, at the moment, I'm on my way now to building a prepper pantry. All I'm doing with that is £20 a week or £10 a week. I'm using to just buy tin food, pastas, toiletries. And then it'll soon build up. I went from having nothing to a full, I've got a full shelf of stuff now. So, yeah, and that's just over a couple of weeks. So, again, stay tuned for the prepper stuff. I hope this video has been helpful, showing you my pouch, my little electrical pouch that I've put together. So, if this has been helpful, please like, comment. If you've got a kit like this you put together or a pouch like this, comment and let me know what you've got in it. So, it might give me ideas to add to mine. Again, I've been watching... Thanks uh, again. I've been Panda. Start that again. I've been Panda. Thanks for watching. Stay prepared now and I'll catch you outdoors sometime. Toronto.